Have you ever wondered which relationship is almost as important as cleaning up the relationship with yourself? Well, that's the topic we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Five Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this one I want to talk about because for a lot of people, this relationship, and most of you already probably have an idea, it is the relationship with your parents. The reason is this relationship usually pay, plays throughout most people's entire lives, and it can be good or it can be very, very devastating if you don't become aware of the relationship and how it is actually influencing your life. Because for most of us, um, it's funny how um, it, the kids, this is this is a little off the track of where I'm headed, but um, I've always had people kind of tease me when I talk about parenting or how kids are and stuff. Uh, people will say, well, you don't have kids, so you don't know what it's like. And I always chuckle. And I tell people, I said, but I'm going to let you in on the secret. I used to be a kid. So there's nothing. And, and the reason I stress that is because once you kind of understand people, it doesn't matter if we're talking about children, adults, or whatever. Human beings are human beings. And if you understand how they think and how they act, it doesn't matter. I've always told people adults are nothing but older kids. And if you watch them, you'll see that. They just have bigger toys. But the thought processes are the same. Um, and uh, for some people, the child actually acts more mature <laughs> than the adult. But anyway, um, if you think about it, parents, for example, most parents parent according to the way they were parented. So I always tell people, I say, you think I couldn't do that? It's not hard to do. Um, because that's what you're going to do. You're going to usually raise your kids the exact same way you were raised. Or you're going to try to do the exact opposite because you don't like the way that you were parented. Again, that's something I could do. Um, I remember I had uh, family members would tell me that, kind of what we're talking about, about the kids. And um, and then I had relatives live with me, and, and they would tell those younger ones that lived with me, how good they were at my house and how they couldn't get them to behave the same way at their house. And I chuckled because I'm like, but you had kids. And I didn't. But you said I wouldn't know. But I don't have the issues that you're having with these same people. Interesting. Um, again, because it comes down to understanding people and, and all the other stuff that people. Now, what you do in medical stuff, no, I have no clue. I couldn't tell you what I need to do. So that has nothing to do with the child perspective. So, but anyway, let me get off that subject. Because really what I'm, what the ideal behind this particular conversation is understanding that the way you were parented or the way you watch your parents react within each other as a couple usually signifies how you will play out your relationships. If they had a great relationship, then usually you're a person that has a good or great relationship. Like, for example, uh, Terry's parents were together, um, you know, over 50 years. My parents kind of the same ballpark. And those are the examples that we got to see. So for us, marriage was not something you get in, you dabble in, you see if it works. If it doesn't work, you leave. It was something that we're like, OK, we need to figure out how we're going to make this thing work. And that's because we had the example of working through a relationship, not saying that we uh, ran our relationship or, or um, talked to each other the same way because we did learn some lessons and, and, and that we took from those relationships. And as I said, people do the exact opposite. Yeah, we did do some opposites in a lot of areas, but the longevity and the willingness to fight through the different challenges that come across is what we got to see and therefore that we took and and we decided to duplicate that. And the same thing, if you're in relationships where you watch parents that always fought, look at your relationships and realize probably the same thing. If you're a person that your parents were always getting divorced, chances are, you probably had many divorces. You, and if you look at that or look at your friends or look at the people around you, you'll see how this all kind of 
uh, parallels because it's real. You do, that's why I always say, kids watch what you do, not what you say. So if you, you're kind of watching, again, what the parents are doing, and then you duplicate that. And so the reason this is important on Self Love Monday is because now we're talking about how the parents actually treat you. And they play a major role in how you actually see yourself. If you have a parent that's always telling you you're stupid, you're clumsy, you're lazy, you'll never amount to anything, then you start to buy into that. Unless you get a coach or somebody that comes into your life and helps you to see, and hopefully if some of you are in that position, hopefully through my videos or through others, that you're able to see differently and start to view yourself uh, differently and start to love yourself. But the reason, again, for this particular video is for no matter what the situation is, good, bad, right or wrong, however you choose to see it, you must heal that relationship that you have with your parents. Even if they're physically not here, you have to do a healing. And the reason is, is because of their scars, then you take those into your relationships and your partner will pay the price because you haven't taken care of or gotten that door closed with the situation with your parents. And, um, and, and for those that, like I said, that are physically not here, you still have to go through this process. And that's one where I've, I've shared with people where you can have them sitting by you or you can have them sitting across from you just in a room where you spend that time and have a conversation and look at it from a, a, a place of where they're, they're probably sitting at this point. And again, I don't tell people what to believe spiritually, but they're coming from a perspective of a person who has understood what they did or didn't do. And they're a person that's looking for forgiveness or to forgive you if that's what needs to be done. And have that kind of conversation and being able to release that. You know, I've talked about before writing a letter. You can write a letter to them if that's what you need to do. Burn the letter, bury the letter. Um, you can keep the letter, mail the letter if they're still here. Whatever. The key is figure out what works for you so that you can get this healing done. When you have, and that's why I, t I talked about the self-love. We got to get that. But a lot of the healing with our parents first will also help in the getting to the self-love. And again, if they're not here physically, then you're gonna to have to do the self-love, but you're gonna to have to do all the work because again, they're not here to have that conversation. And even if they're here physically, for some of you, you maybe have cut them off for whatever reason because of those things. Um, if you can, or if you're willing to take that step, and that's a huge step, to go and get that healed by actually having a conversation with them, then do that. And if you're a person that you just don't want to do that, you can still get this done by what I just, the example I just shared, where you go through and you sit, have the conversation as if they're there and get the healing. Heal the relationship with your parents. Watch even that switch will change the way you see yourself and will improve your way, you know, that, that path we're talking about to self-love. And then you will see how your actual relationship with others, and more importantly, your intimate relationships, you'll watch how those change because then you'll be, you'll be in a forgiving state and it'll make it easy to make all of your relationships work. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you we talk on Self Love Monday, I'll see you next week. For those on Relationship Thursday, um, I'll talk to you on Thursday. But I wanted to get this out. Again, I apologize for this getting out late. Um, I had some things going on and I didn't get a chance to actually do this. But I did want to make sure that I do get it out on Monday. Like I said, we'll make sure we get back on track next week. But again, run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. See the things that I got going on right now. And then again, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Get the healing with your parents taken care of. Because again, if you get that gap closed, you will watch your life seem like a miracle has opened up. And you'll see all your other relationships start to work greatly. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.